when I was uh, in my college in first year, someone asked, what is a green building? We got a very interesting answer that uh, green buildings might be the buildings which are painted green. <laughs> so I think that was very refreshing. Hello Archers, welcome to Arknet. Here we like to delve deep into architectural curiosities and understand it better. And today for this video, I would like to talk about Greha and Lead and compare it. There has been a long battle between these two energy rating systems and uh, I would like to give a brief about them both so that we can identify what should we move forward with. So uh, for professionals as well as for beginners, I think this video will give a brief idea about these energy rating systems. So let's get right into this presentation. What is a green building? Now green building requires a holistic approach that looks at each component of a building and how it relates in context with the whole building. This allows us to look at the impact the building will have on the wider environment and community around it. Now green building is not a very simplistic idea like just involving some green elements, uh, some plantations or, that, uh, or elements which are landscaping elements in a building but it is looking into a bigger approach. And the word just not is reflecting towards plantation but also towards many approaches which will help in different aspects of energy. For example, every building requires certain level of energy and uh, we can optimize that uh, and uh, by creating certain systems and uh, green buildings ranges from design passive ideas to active approaches. So we can also make a building green or uh, very uh, energy efficient if we plan it accordingly during design stage or we can again implement some solutions which are technologically advanced and help in the energy optimization processes and uh, uh, this is not just related to the energy but also the entire material management operation maintenance etc and there is a whole aisle for it like we can uh, green in just is smart uh, which is uh, future uh, which can look uh, a green building in general uh, is focusing towards environmental uh, environment and community so anything any aspect of building which is helping or improving the environment and not uh, trying to degrade the natural resources is efficient and is required in this criteria so India currently has three major competing criteria uh, or certification systems for these green uh, building ratings and these are the LEED, GREHA and IGBC. But if we talk about the competing systems uh, to rate how a green building really is, we usually coin the terms of LEED and GREHA. Now LEED is a benchmark like a green rating system which, which originated in US and uh, is internationally known but if we talk about Greha uh, it is nationally grown homegrown rating system and it is following certain s steps or criteria which are homegrown so let's get a little bit deeper into it let's start with what green buildings are so buildings use massive amount of energy and have large environmental footprints reducing these is easily achievable with smart planning and knowledge of proper green building techniques so we have to get to know about these systems otherwise we are not uh, taking environment in uh, in our design like what should be proper techniques which we should use and uh, as as i discussed it briefly rating systems for rating buildings as green are different in different countries if you go to uk it is briam in us it is lead and uh, japan it is caspi australia green star germany passive house india greha and now I'll be mainly talking about LEED which is Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design and about GREHA which is Green Rating for Integrated Habitat Assessment. So the GREHA rating criteria is how a GREHA rating is provided and GREHA provides star uh, rating on the basis of stars. So there are five stars uh, and there is some points which we will achieve if we will get these criteria. Now there are 100 points in the criteria and there are 34 sets of criteria. So if we'll get something above 85, then we'll achieve a 5 star Greha rating. And the minimum requirements are from 25 to 40 points to get 1 star. So 
let's get into these griha rating criterias if we go into the criterias it ranges from majorly uh, site planning building planning and construction stage building operation and maintenance innovation so these are the major criterias in which griha is operating it is known that griha is a home grown and mainly focusing on indian context indian climate and indian temperature and requirement so these are directing towards that aspect if you go into the site planning aspect it is uh, the main broad category is conservation effective utilization of resources now we can take in broad aspects for example the selection of the site which is important um, we have to see on the soft scape and landscape area uh, and uh, the hard scape area like the pavings so that has to be taken care of and uh, we can enhance outdoor lighting system efficiently we can reduce hard paving on site which is again the hard scape area we have to look into the soil conservation and uh, we we have to see in preserving the existing site elements for example if there is a landscape area uh, and many trees uh, we'll try our best to design such that we preserve and protect the landscape so the second major point is health and well being and the criteria is for providing uh, best sanitation facility for the workers over there and also reduce air pollution during construction which uh, which can be done by uh, creating a protective layer of net or something so uh, it will just uh, reduce the pollution which is which has been caused during the construction process so building planning and construction stage Uh, is focusing on conservation and effective efficient utilization of resources uh, recycle recharge and reuse of water waste management and again health and well being so broadly if we talk about conservation then it is about reduce landscape water demands reduce building water use uh, mainly focusing on different areas of utilizing water use low energy materials in interior renewable energy utilization and renewable energy based hot water systems so if we we'll talk about recycle recharge and reuse of water the the criteria is are based on water waste treatment water recycle and reuse uh, waste management now if we talk about waste management it is reduction in waste during construction uh, efficient waste segregation storage and disposal of waste resource recovery from waste and health and well being will be on the basis of different materials which we are using mainly like the voc paints adhesive sealants etc now we can also use substances which will minimize in uh, ozone depletion and uh, emission of carbon and uh, ensure water quality tobacco and smoke control so we can really look into these aspects uh, during design and also the materials so that will also help uh, and also different services for this this main uh, this is the main idea and it, these are carrying about 31 criterias and almost uh, if i'm not wrong taking out uh, 90 80 to 90 points uh, so we have to focus on all these aspects majorly now if we talk about building operation and maintenance these are the two criterias uh, out of which energy audit and validation is mandatory and uh, operation and maintenance take away two points so this is also very important innovation innovative innovation points there are four points which are allotted in this category and this point these points are in addition uh, to the 100 point system so if we are trying to innovate something it will be additional these additional points uh, can also help us get a good griha rating and uh, it is totally based on something which we are trying to innovate in a project now let's talk about lead which is leadership in energy and environment design uh, now lead is most widely used green building rating system in the world and internationally it is very known uh, but it was uh, earlier certified by igbc now if i'll tell uh, commencing 1st july 2014 projects in india aspiring for lead rating are advised to register with gbci Uh, the lead india projects which are already registered with igbc up to 30th june 2014 will continue to be certified by igbc till 31st may 2018 this policy is in accordance with our understanding with us gbc so if we talk about the global aspect uh, united states green building council 
has now transferred the lead rating to GBCI. So to get certified for lead, we have to interact with them. So there are three rating dif three different rating systems. If we talk about lead, uh, they have different uh, rating criteria or what they say credits for different typologies. And it is, uh, it is ranging from uh, building uh, design from construction stage to interior design to operation and maintenance to new development and for homes. So these are the broad typologies in which LEED has different credits. If we talk about the credit categories, there are nine major credit categories which are ranging from indoor environmental quality, innovation, regional priority, integrative processes, location and transportation, sustainable sites, water efficiency, energy and atmosphere, material and resources. So these are the major categories. So I hope you guys got some takeaway from this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, leave a like and comment topics you guys would like us to make a video on in future. And I hope to see you guys soon in the next video. Take care.